Hi, it's Zach here with Mary, who is Mare Z from The Daily Recipe. She's here to help me introduce to you today's deal, the Mini Burger Maker. This Mini Burger Maker works much like a George Foreman grill. So if you already have one of those, or if you've ever used it before, you're already a pro at making sliders. Now the cool thing about this is that it makes four at a time. Now Mary, what are some different kinds of meats that we can put into the to the mini burger maker? Well, the first thing that you would think of would naturally be ground beef, ground sirloin, but it would be also great to do turkey burgers. You could do bison, that's really big now for its low fat content. You could also do all kinds of toppings. Now, we've got a couple of Hawaiian rolls here, and the bread you can get kind of interesting too. We actually were talking about this. If you use like a glass or something like that, you can actually cut out little buns for yourself from whatever kind of bread that you like. But we, we just thought we'd do it easily and get these little Hawaiian buns and then we've got jalapeno cheese in here. We were able to use one slice of cheese for all four buns too, so it's really going to help you conserve your meat, it's going to help you conserve your cheese, and it's going to give you smaller portions if that's what you're looking for. Now in here we've got some ground beef and some ground round that I've mixed up with some seasonings. Real simple. Now you get a portion spoon with this and you're just gonna divvy out each single portion with just one of these and put one into each individual slot. Mary, you wanna do that for me? Sure. Of course, I've already washed my hands. Anytime you're touching raw meat, you wanna be really careful. Now. We already have these all greased up with a little bit of Pam. And there's also a little drip tray in the middle too where all the excess fat and oil is gonna drain right into the drip tray and then you're gonna be able to just slide it out from the bottom here. This takes about five minutes to heat up and it's gonna take about six or seven minutes total cooking time. So we're gonna check back in just a minute. We've had these cooking for about six minutes now. We just flipped the lid up. We did notice that the lid was a little bit hot so be careful when you're opening it up but we have some very succulent looking burgers and they, delicious. they do smell really great. So we're just gonna spoon these out with a fork here, put them onto each individual little patties. Now remember, it's gonna take about five minutes after you plug it in for the hot plates to warm up and after you put the lid down, another six to seven minutes for them to cook. But there are not indication lights on the top that are gonna tell you when it's about done. And you got four little perfect burger sliders. Me and Mary are gonna finish up eating here. We're really enjoying these burgers and we got a great deal for you on this maker. Add one to your cart today.